There is a photo that is seemingly innocent, but if you send it in Discord, you will be banned in less than five minutes. Is this fake and what is the photo? Why does this photo get you banned and why do you need to avoid it at all costs? Now this whole entire journey of figuring out this image all started with a viewer that messaged me on Discord. He said that there is a new Discord issue where there's an image that gets you instantly disabled when you send it. And they link me to a tweet. Excuse me, sir, it's an X post. Now looking at this tweet, it tells me to send this image to someone on Discord. And the comments were quite mixed. Someone said, doesn't it show someone naked? Another person said, I got disabled. And finally, of course, someone said, it gives you free nitro. Now, what is this image? Well, it's a photo of a Discord call with just some teenager with a headset on eating popcorn. And I don't see how you'd get banned on Discord for sending this, but I do want to make it clear that this is not the same image because of reasons I'll get to later. Now, whenever someone tells me that you can get banned for sending an image of just a guy eating popcorn, I had to figure out, is this true? And also, how fast does it happen? So I copied this image on Twitter, x.com, forgive me, and I uploaded it to Discord. I did not want to take any risks, so I made a new alt account. And when I pasted this image, nothing happened. But there's this ominous timer that I have edited in. Oh, let's see how long it takes for something to happen. Holy sh**. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy sh**, it actually works. That was my genuine live reaction at eight o'clock in the morning or whatever, but it took 70 seconds. After 70 seconds, my account got logged out. And when I tried to log back in, no dice. My account was banned. And there's a little bit of weirdness to this because I want to point out that there was no one else in the Discord server that could have reported me. And this is our first clue into unraveling the mystery of this image. And the weirdness doesn't stop there because usually when you get banned on Discord, you get an email telling you what you did. But I didn't get an email. The viewer that told me about this image also didn't receive an email stating why they were banned. And this is the second clue in figuring out the mystery of this photo. So we know this isn't fake. You can get banned off Discord for sending this photo. And we know that this photo is just a guy eating popcorn, which raises the question, why does this photo get you banned? Now let's analyze this first clue to understand what's going on. We know that when I sent the photo in an empty Discord server, Server, no one should have been able to report me, but I still got banned. And what this means is that Discord automatically banned me. And if you didn't know, Discord has automatic systems for banning people. We know that back in 2021, Discord bought an AI anti-harassment company called Centropy. And we also know that Discord is dabbling a little bit in AI and they're working on a feature called AutoMod AI. But AutoMod AI is for server owners. AutoMod AI should not automatically ban me off Discord. It only should ban me off the Discord. Discord server. So that means we need to look back at the Centropy thing. Remember, this is an anti-harassment tool. So maybe this photo that I sent is actually a screenshot from a video where this guy gets harassed. And I decided, well, I should probably reverse image search this photo to figure out where it's from. No, 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 no. This is not a good idea at all because I almost forgot about my second clue. Discord was being discreet with my ban. So analyzing that clue, if this image was from a harassment video, then Discord would actually send me an email with a harassment or gore ban reason. But I didn't, and I forgot about something, because Discord has one more automated system in terms of banning people on Discord. And to figure it out, we need to look at Discord Safety Center with Discord's commitment to teen and child safety. That should be a fair warning what content I'm going to talk about. Now, how does Discord keep their younger users safe? Well, Discord tells us that they use a mix of proactive and reactive tools. And since I got banned automatically, that means we're talking about proactive tools. And Discord tells us that they proactively scan images uploaded to Discord using photo DNA. And what photo DNA detects is this stuff, child blank, also known as CP. Now, instead of using these two letters, I am going to keep it lighthearted and YouTube friendly by expanding these two letters out to cheese pizza. But what's going on is that photo DNA thinks that this photo of a dude eating popcorn is actually considered as this bad content. But why? And to understand why, we actually need to understand how photo DNA works. Well, there's a little bit of technicality to it, so I'm going to break it down and make it simple with an example, which will probably make things more complex, but you're in for a wild ride.
ride. I just gave you a job, which is going to be your first and only job because you stay inside all day. But your job is you need to tell me if the photo on the right matches the photo on the left. If the photos match, I want you to ban the person who sent me that photo. Because I'm afraid of dogs after a girl barked at me. Now here's the thing. Business has been booming. I have a lot of photos to go through, and I want to help you out with your work. But here's the thing. If I see a photo of a dog, I'm going to panic and die. So I'm going to change up your job a little bit. Your job now is to look at the photo, turn it into text, and just tell me what's going on. And what this means is I don't have to worry about seeing a photo of a dog anymore, because all you're doing is just sending me text that tells me what the photo is. And photo DNA works in a similar fashion. Photo DNA will get sent a whole bunch of cheese pizza images and video, and it'll turn it into a sequence of numbers, which is a unique digital signature, also known as a hash. This is our text description, and this uniquely explains what the photo is, but you don't want to actually hear what the photo is about, so it's just a whole bunch of random numbers. And this big database of random numbers allows us to compare whether or not a photo is cheese pizza or not, without having to actually see the image or send around the images for people to compare. It's just the text, and if the images match, then you can ban someone, report them to the authorities. And this photo of this guy eating popcorn is actually a screenshot from a long video that contains cheese pizza. And this video, since it is cheese pizza, contains a photo DNA hash, which basically tells Discord that, hey, this photo that was sent is cheese pizza. And that's why Discord automatically bans me. And that solves the whole entire mystery. The first clue of being automatically banned is because of photo DNA. And the second clue of Discord not telling me that I got banned is because Discord doesn't want to tell a creep that we know you're a creep and we banned you off the platform. They want to keep it quiet so that the creep actually gets put behind bars. Now, you might be asking, why didn't I just show you the photo? Well, I don't want you to be using this to prank someone or to troll. And this brings me to my third part of this video. You need to avoid this image at all costs. First off, I want to make it clear that this photo is considered as cheese pizza. And if you send this image or if your friends send this image, they will not be getting unbanned. And since this is cheese pizza, it is massively illegal to share with people. And guess what Discord does automatically for you? If Discord detects one of your photos containing this type of content, they will report this photo and the person that sent it, the perpetrators, to the NCMEC, which is the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. You will automatically get reported to this organization and the authorities. And here's the thing, since this content is so vile and so disgusting, you aren't just given an innocent until proven guilty type mindset. You are going to be labeled as a creep, and you are going to have to prove your innocence. It is an extremely stressful situation, and here's the thing, since I got banned, I I now have to worry about explaining to the feds why I got reported for having cheese pizza and sending it on Discord. And if you convince your friends to send this stuff, someone might even knock on your door. It is genuinely not worth the stress, not worth the headache. If you want to troll your friends, send them a video of like a screamer or something. That is way more gratifying, way more satisfying, and way more safe. Any hoot hollering and a half gamer, that's all I got. My brain ran out of thinking power because I've been recording for an hour. Bye bye, I love you. You mm -hmm.